Alright. Because a lot of players do end up playing his decks because of it. Like, we saw all those prelim decks, uh, that were, what, a month ago? Where, like, Sidonia and stuff were? That yeah, the Freeze Mage decks were pretty much out of his build mm -hmm. of the time. I think that the the problem was like, it was running double Acolyte of Pain, so like if you sub one out for something else, probably one of the Murlocs or something, and just more consistent draws. More consistent Smork. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, so we do have the Cthune Renal deck against the Cthune Druid deck. So many Cthunes lately. I Lock. feel like the uh, Cthune Reno uh, lock is probably favorite in this matchup because you have that draw. Yeah, and you also have and the twist the ne nether. Twisting nether. Yeah, twisting nether is pretty good. Yeah, Wipe disgusting. the board. But like just being able to draw more cards than your opponent in like the same matchup is just usually better, right? Mm -hmm. Always, always. You just have more plays overall. Mm -hmm. Woo, mortal coil. I like that. Just choosing to go with Doomsayer. Interesting. Mortal Coil tap wouldn't have been that bad, but then yeah. how do you deal with like Amber Claxi or something like that? Oh yeah, that's true. That would be pretty scary. Because then Wrath all of a sudden could take out a Doomsayer the following turn. Mm -hmm. Or Gatoon's Disciple plus Hero Power, which would have been more than enough. But choosing not to play the Amber Claxi, obviously, because... You know. He has a pretty free board to just play the Cthune's Chosen, so not bad. Yeah, and he has the backup of the Disciple plus the Mortal Coil. Mm -hmm. Or whatever comes off Peddler, and he'll be able to activate Twin Emperor, or he can just play Emperor the following turn. Mm -hmm. Or Savannah's. Wow, just so much value. Not that much actually going on in the uh, Druid's hand, though. He's just able to kill off the minion, but we're gonna see a return fighting. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see a Classy. We're gonna see the Classy. Oh, wait, no, no, because Classy doesn't have enough yet, right? Like, the attack by Mesa Cathan's attack is not enough. Yeah. Even with that, just nine. Yeah, just nine. It's close, it's like, close. Like, Nostum's is gonna be, or his, uh, Queen Emperor is gonna be turned on a lot sooner than Klaxi will. Mm -hmm. This turn, if he wishes. Though I wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna see Tap Peddler or something like that. Tap Peddler, oh, okay, fine. Alright. Choosing just to turn on the Twin Emperor, so he can play Emperor this turn, followed mm -hmm. by Twin Emperor, plus the Dark Peddler, or even just setting up a better Savannah's Shadow Flame turn. The Triple Emperor deck. Oh man, <laughs> it's a triple emperor. Yeah, just... I, I think he's just missing brand for the uh, the quad. Yeah, the quad. So disgusting. The combo still disgusts me. <laughs> I think Reno is the only way that can actually remove it quite efficiently with the twisting nether. But other than that, you can't really remove twisting it. Twisting nether, shadow flame. Yeah. Both good outs. Like yeah. with the power of overwhelming, which he could get off the dark peddler. Like dark peddler into shadow flame. It, or dark peddler into power of overwhelming into shadow flame. It's just like GG. <laughs> yeah, it's GG. It, right? Yeah. Like, what yeah, can they do when they're behind? Yeah, the only problem with uh, Cthulhu Druid is once you're behind, it's so hard to fight back. Okay, so, so we're probably going to see... No, he's going to be able to fight back now. Ooh, okay, I was going to say he could go Roots. Actually, he could still do this. Roots into uh, Elder, Trade into Emperor, into Rag. Or he could go Roots, Trade, Emperor, yeah, it's one Emperor, which is also just as good because you're potentially getting the same amount of power on the board, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you're... And, like, it, it, this is better against, like, Siphon Soul, right? Yep, true. Yep. Alright, playing Savannah's. Savannah's first. I, I like that. Into no heal. Yeah, I like this. If your opponent ignores it, you can just do a pretty good Shadow Flame. Farseer into another of the taunt, like, next turn. And then you Shadow Flame, and then you take whatever is big on board. It would be a 4 1. Yeah. Emperor. <laughs> no, no, you don't take the Emperor, you just kill it. But yeah, he's, he's like, just gonna he's use hero power to clear. Yeah. Probably coin rag. Mm -hmm. I think you leave the emperor up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, going with been... double amber classy this turn. That's still probably good. better. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. More better. development. How can you remove that? Twisting so, nether. So yeah, so yeah. So you're forcing out a twisting nether right now. So if, which if, would make your rag stick a lot better, but yeah. still weak to siphon soul. And you know that he's running BGH as well. Yeah. Wait, hasn't there a game already been posted? <laughs> Why is it still 0-0? Zero, zero? Oh yeah, right. Who won again? Uh, that would be Deadly Kitten. One game, one with two. Oh yeah, right. With that power overwhelming top deck. Do you hear it's called? I say top deck, but it's like when you draw 15 cards in a row, mm -hmm. it's bound to happen, right? Yeah, it's bound to happen. So actually flooding the board against uh, Druid is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he did pick up, what is it, a 12-12? Twelve, twelve? 
No, it's a uh, 11 attack. Cthune. But you don't want to play hit to a uh, crazed. Crazed what? I I'm waiting till he dies. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy something. Crazy something. I'll worship it. Dude. I'll worship, worship it. Oh, I was like wondering what you're, you're gonna say. I was like. So I was waiting for it too, but we're just gonna see the brand into twin. Em wait, trip emperor. It's not twin. Yeah, trip emperor. Wait, 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 wait. What are twin? Okay, wait, what are three of a kind uh, when they're. Triple, triple, triple. Triplets, triplets. Yeah, triplets. Yeah, triplets. So here's yeah. the triplets. <laughs> Oh, oh man! How two are identical twins, and how is Deadly kind of kid got to remove this now? Eh, you got rad. You got. You just need to put these to like four health, which you got two of them, so you have two good trades. But Bran is still up. Yeah, Bran is definitely still up. Well, so it depends. If Rack gets face, you could immediately Woo! go back to full health. Did it go face? No, it killed no. Bran. Ow, that hurts. Uh, I mean, Stun's big, but Rag is just. Or you can wait till like next turn. You can do efficient trading with a four five. Or okay, or you can do that first. Just take out the Klaxies. Yeah, okay, Klaxies. Attack face. Oh, now this is an answer. Oh, okay, so he is just leaving up that. So yeah, like mm -hmm. Ragwood just more potential damage over time. Cthulhu only does. It, it takes you three turns to kill you with Cthulhu, right? Mm -hmm. Something to note. He did play Cthulhu early. I wonder if that means he is playing Doom Caller. That's true. That's true. But do you really need to? Oh, I guess like it does. I guess it's weak to Twisting Nether, like if ne that Twisting Nether does come down, you know. Oh baby. So tapping means that now he, uh, yeah, he's just gonna concede. Like, yeah, gonna I concede. think he made his mistake there tapping, because then he could have actually played the Funnel Cake. 